Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to study customer lifetime value in Excel using ExcelStat. We're also going to study other KPIs such as churn and retention rates or estimated defection time. We have a dataset containing a sample of monthly subscription data from a phone service provider. The period covered is from 2010 to 2014. Three groups of users from a value-based segmentation are represented – Young, Classic, and Premium. Let's go to the ExcelStat Marketing Tools menu. After clicking on Customer Lifetime Value, the dialog box appears. Let's select the column containing the prices in the Average Revenue Per Account field and the two columns containing the acquisition and churn dates in the time field. Finally, let's select the segments, then launch the analysis. First, we can observe the average customer lifetime value by segment. That is the average money spent by customers from their subscription until they leave. We can see that young customers had the lowest CLV. But what about the churn and retention rates? We can see that the monthly retention rates are quite high for all segments, going above 90%. The estimated defection time is also returned for each segment. We see that half of the customers from the premium segment cancel their subscription after 11 months, staying less than a year. Finally, a sensitivity analysis and a forecast are provided. The sensitivity analysis shows the evolution of the mean churn time and of the CLV for each increase of 5% of the retention rate. The forecast displays the predicted CLV in six months following the last recorded churn date. In this video, we've seen how to evaluate customer performance through customer lifetime value, as well as retention and churn rates. Subscribe for more quick and useful analysis in Excel using ExcelStat.